Hi, this is Robin Heppel, and welcome to our series on creating your online accounts. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Gmail account. So here we are at Google, and all that you need to do is either click on the Gmail link here at the top, or if you don't see that, you can just type Gmail into the search box. And it will bring you to this page, and just scroll down here to create an account. And from here, we just fill out the information. It's up to you if you want to keep these uh, settings so that you're, you stay logged in and that you enable web history. That's up, up to you. You can set Google as your default homepage. And now we need to enter our security question. And it took me a while here to remember what my kindergarten teacher's name was. And then just enter in your recovery email in case you ever forget the password for your Gmail account. Then select your location and enter in the word verification. Sometimes Google makes this pretty hard on us. Then you need to uh, just accept the terms and create your account. Then we come to this page and it says show me my account. So click on that button. And as of right now, Google is really promoting their Google Buzz, but we're going to bypass that. Again, we don't want to get sidetracked with all the things. We The whole goal of these little tutorials is to just get all of our accounts set up. We can always check out Buzz later. So just click this button here. Just go to my inbox. I'll try Buzz later. And here we are in our Gmail account. There are a number of settings that you can set. You can have other accounts come uh, into this account, so you could actually check all of your um, up to five other email accounts within the, Go the Gmail interface. You can label incoming messages, so just how folders work with your in your Outlook, you uh, label them. The neat thing about labels is that you can actually put more than one label on an email. You can create filters so that it automatically puts them into different labels or automatically would forward them to a different email account. You can also use your Gmail settings to check your Gmail account in Outlook. And if you want to do that, you would just click on here and there's lots of step-by-step -step information tutorials there. And then a bunch of other stuff that Google has. So then we can go back to the inbox and you could start using your Gmail account. But the main purpose is we now have a Google account and to access that we just go back to Google and you'll see that this now looks a little bit different. It shows that I'm logged in here and then we can go to settings and Google account settings. And over time this part of the my products is going to grow. I will quickly show you what my Gmail account looks like after using it for a number of years. As you can see my, the, my products area is full of Google tools. I don't even use all of them that are available, but these are the ones that I use. So over time, your My Products area will grow too. And that's it. So now you've created your Gmail account, which gives you access to all of the Google tools. And it'll also serve as a repository for any new accounts that we create. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to create your Gmail account. Make sure that you check back often for more training videos and resources on how to market your funeral home or cemetery online. This is Robin Heppel.